All right, what's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be testing out a fuse. I am, for context, working on this projector. I am no electrician or anything of the sort, uh, but I'm a DIYer and so our projector for our family movie theater uh, recently broke and so I kind of dissected it, took it apart. And this is one of my first troubleshooting steps, testing out uh, the fuse to see if it is blown or not. So um, I am popping out the fuse here and let me get this set up for you. I'm going to show you uh, using a multimeter how we can test this to see if it's bad. Now visually you can see that it looks intact but I want some empirical proof that it uh, actually is. That that wire, basically a fuse is a wire, right, that uh, will, will break if it's overloaded. So uh, I want to test to see what's going on. Now I'm going to run this test twice so you don't have to rewind, but we're going to get out our multimeter and flip it over to ohms and see the red and the black orientation on the terminals where the cord actually plugs into the unit. Make sure that's in the correct place. And we're going to take the, the probes and just run them together like that. And you'll see on the screen, 0.L is basically infinity. Uh, but as soon as you put those probes together, it should go down to zero or close to zero. That's going to be our base point. And then we're going to touch the probes on each side of the fuse. It's a little slippery based on how I got it set up here. Uh, and it doesn't matter which way, black or red on either side. Uh, and it should read that same zero reading. All right, it's break time. Welcome to my channel. Click that subscribe button. Like this video if it's helping you out. And share this with somebody that you know. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. And check the links in the description. All right, let's get back to business. So this fuse set has a backup built in. I mean, it's not like hooked up or anything, but it's a storage area basically. So if that went too fast for you, let's do that same test again. Now this could be, you could do this on a car uh, fuse, you know, those little U-shaped fuses that works the same way. Uh, so we're gonna get everything out. We'll get it hooked up, get their base reading of zero. See what I did there? And then we'll touch the probes, the end of the probes on each end of the fuse. Again, it doesn't matter red or black, which side's which, and we want it to read zero. If it reads zero, guess what? This is a good fuse. There's resistance, and that's what you want to see. If it does read infinity 0.L in this multimeter's case, then it's a bad fuse, but we're going to go ahead and put that back in. This projector has a good fuse, and I can move on to my next step, which is another story. Hopefully this has helped you out. All right, do it again. Come and get me. Come and get me. Come over here. Come on. 